Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and um, I was looking at the uh, list of fixes of the update yesterday for the uh, version 2004, May 2020 update, and version uh, 20H2, which is the October 2020 update. So yesterday there was a uh, update for those that uh, are on that version. It's a optional update, and uh, I've installed it, of course. So uh, the update, which is a kind of update preview for Windows 10, in my case is 20H2, but yours could be version 2004. Uh, the three biggest fixes, the, the ones that are probably reported the most that people have, some of you that have uh, been gaming on your computers, if your computer felt, felt sluggish when you were gaming or even sometimes stopped rep responding, so there's a fix for that. Uh, one of the fixes in there also is a lot of people have been complaining that when you use OneDrive, the uh, file explorer, you have duplicate folders and files. Um, and so they fixed that glitch also. And um, the uh, third thing that uh, it actually uh, uh, fixes also is some people with certain versions of Windows 10, not the regular, um, you know, uh, pro and home, but uh, education, for example, if you had a version for education, when you were updating to a new version of Windows 10, you would lose the certificate that says your Windows 10 is now is activated. So you would move on and it would say you're not activated and you couldn't activate. So it fixes that also for those that are in that situation. It fixes a lot more features also. So um, if you have problems, like I said, you can check it out. But these are optional, so you don't have to. If you have no issues, just leave it alone. A lot of you have been asking me, should I install the uh, .NET framework? Well, that one is mandatory. That one is not an optional update. So if you don't install the uh, bug fixing updates, the Kubernetes update for .NET framework uh, that you see here also, uh, 3.5 and 4.8, that one will install. It is usually a good idea to install this because it has uh, it could be fixes for bugs it could add new features and routines that are needed and this one um, I haven't looked but there is a possibility of a security update in there also sometimes it could happen but uh, that one is mandatory you have to install it um, unlike the uh, cumulative update which is a download and install that you have to click uh, so um, if everything is all right just you know ignore and at least You'll have the .NET framework uh, that will install, uh, but the uh, download, as long as you don't click download and install in Windows Update, the uh, cumulative update for bug fixes is not going to install itself. So uh, rollout seems to go well. No, nope, I don't see any problems, anybody complaining about anything. So uh, right now it seems to be just a background noise, a usual background noise of, of, of people that complain, which is the usual one but nothing out of the ordinary. If something does happen, we'll talk about it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.